we have just gotten the go ahead from one of our suppliers that we could use the Samsung datasheet and the new date code system. Now the cells do look really different with a large big number at the top and this number at first I thought the cell tube date code rule was some kind of serial number but I also noticed that the model name is totally missing from the cell also the format also the chemistry and also the size. So this is probably not a serial number, this is probably a model number. As you can see the 45 is present in the 45T. I guess one of the C's probably mean it's cylindrical. And there you can see 03, F and 101. On most other new Samsung cells, F101 can be found in most cells. I can only find other 21700s, no 18650s. So F101 might refer to 21. 700 or something like that. They used to write the chemistry on the cell, but you probably have a short code for that. Maybe that is one of the C's or it's the 03F. I really don't know since we don't have any 8650s to compare it to. But it would be interesting if someone know more about the model name. And then on the second road we have positive and negative which most bantry manufacturers write on their cells. And something that I've never seen before is they actually write the capacity of the cell. And followed by that we have three C's. I do not know what that means but I think it will be three C's on every cell. And then we have the third row. It begins with a large C, but it do not specify what that means. But in previous versions of the cells, especially Samsung 40T, this has been version number. And then we have three letters everyone should know. SDI, that's what Samsung is calling their battery manufacturing division that also make other electronic components. And then we have the date code, which is the last four digits and letters on the cell and they have made a lot of changes here so you cannot use any of the old decryptors and this is for cell manufactured after 4th of June 2024 and it's only for cylindrical cells. This seems to be a document from the Chinese factory in Tianjin. Since some of it is written in Chinese, I've translated most of the Chinese part. You should still be able to see the Chinese letters. The old date system P would stand for 2025, but since it's too hard to tell an O from a zero, they have decided to remove both O and zero from all the date codes. So P is now for 2024, not for 2025. The second letter which is an 8 is the month it has been produced. It used to be a letter, now it's a number in a base 12 system, meaning that A is 10, B is 11 and C is 12. So an 8 means August or month number 8. And then there's been another switch up, third letter or number used to be a week, now the switch is to a day to be more specific. And this is also sort of a hexadecimal system, a base 31 system. But they have also removed the O. So you really need to decode it if you need to know the exact day it has been manufactured. The first nine days are very easy because they are the same number. But when it comes to the letters, an R is day 25. And they also have a very interesting letter in the end. And this is referring to which factory has manufactured them. Three main factories making cylindrical cells for Samsung. And that is Shenhuan in South Korea, Tianjin in China, and then the Malaysian factory. I'm also going to share the datasheet for 45T. I haven't found anyone posting it online. It's not as detailed as many other datasheets we've seen from Samsung. But it does have everything that really matters. Like the charge rate and discharge rate. And it do say it only has a 35 amp continuous discharge rate out the temperature sensor. So it isn't much better than the Samsung 40T. If you see in the Samsung 40T version 3 datasheet you will know that they can also handle 50 amps continuous if you have a 75 degree temperature cutoff. This cell requires an 80 degree temperature cutoff. We also have some interesting facts about the cycle life and since it's coming from Samsung that's probably data that you can trust. The max charge current is 9 ampere hours. But that is only for step charge. I'm not sure what step charge means. I don't have that in my industry. But they also specify 6 amps as continuous charge. I think it's funny that if you look at 3.5 calling it rage charge. I don't know if I can switch my chargers to rage mode. But that's probably their way of saying fast charge. And as with most other lithium ion batteries. The actual cutoff from the datasheet is 2.5 volt. If you want the full capacity of the cell. And there's also one very interesting thing with this datasheet. If you scroll down to point 314 in 315. 
you can see that they allow for charging in minus 10 degrees but they also say something about safety performance on so maybe they need some kind of temperature sensor or other equipment to be able to charge in sub-zero degrees i don't have much more to say but i will publish those images and data sheets for you to download and do whatever you want with since i got the permission and these are not classified by samsung